Greetings! Today I'd like to talk about a weak ORI mate, how to configure it and how to use it. Let's have a look how this weak ORI presents itself once you imported it. We ignore all the other, other tabs here and just look at custom options. So it says automatic switch on entering a RAID instance, automatic set switches for bosses. You can tick all of this um, active as it comes shipped. And the basic idea is there are six different ways how to trigger an, a set swap. It's targeting a boss, mouse overing a boss, um, killing a boss, um, ending a boss encounter, which is redundant but a fail save for number three entering a dungeon or entering a subzone of a dungeon. And if you configure this weak aura correctly, all of that is done automatically whenever you hit these triggers, which is pretty nifty and very, very useful, especially in raids where you have under demon bosses where you want to use different gear sets and obviously boss equip, trash equip, AE cap or not as a caster, and so on and so on. Possibilities are basically endless. But let's look at the, um, the configuration for Karazhan. We open the Karazhan tab and now you see all the boss names. All the triggers are at mouse over. I would highly suggest that but maybe you rather want to actually sel select the boss. We'll see what the difference is in a moment. And then you have in the top one set that you can name here on entering the dungeon that it should get switched to when you enter the dungeon. And then also a pre-combat set, so when you hover the boss, and a post-combat post set, the set that gets equipped after you kill the boss easy enough. You can enter here any, any of your existing set names. So if let's say you have an elemental in this uh, in your group, uh, you can just rewrite all of these to elemental or whatever names you currently have for your gear sets. Let's look at my item rack for a short second. So boss and trash, as you can see here, I also have that here, right? If I wanted to have a boss where I have lightning capacitor, which I actually want in, in SSC, then I just state the name of the item set. So these are linked. Um, you can do exactly the same with gear equipper. Also to have shown that I also have a set with boss and trash here works exactly the same. If you have both installed for whatever reason, it will always default to item rec though. So if you want to use gear equipper, don't have item rec installed. All right. So what should happen? When we enter Karazhan and we currently have our boss set equipped, it should swap to the trash set. And once I hover over a Tumen, it should equip the boss set. If we then would also kill a Tumen, it should again re-equip the trash set. Okay, let's see what's hap what happens. Um, all right, now we are in a raid group. Let's see what happens when we zone in. Still the boss set equipped. Now we can see we now have the trash set equipped. Also says it in your chat. Now we have proper fishing gear equipped and some weird trinkets. And once we hover a Tumen, it swaps back. If we put it to target and not mouse over, you actually have to have it in target, which I wouldn't suggest as said. So the only thing you have to get into muscle memory is hovering a boss before encountering it. It works really well and fast, even on Lurker, if you forget to equip your gear on the platforms, which you can't 
do with the add-on uh, or with the weak aura. Uh, it's enough to hover it when he spawns and then it's equipped. So there are lots of possibilities. Um, for the speedrunning players of you, I would suggest to, um, let's show it in item rec, to disable swapping your neck. So if you're using drew crafting necks, then, then it's not overwritten. And also depends on what you're do doing, where and how and when you want to exclude trinkets or not. That is a bit personal preference and just fiddle around what suits you. All right, see you around.